Welcome back, welcome back to D Mama's Lives. D Mama just covered her hair. How do you like it? Do you like it? I just did the part that was already colored a little. Give it some red. I didn't color the other parts. Let's see how you like it. Happy Thursday to you. <sighs> How's everybody morning going? Let me see. I don't know what time it is. Let me see. Okay. Nine past ten on Thursday morning. Happy Thursday to you. Look at it snowed out there the other day. But everything's going okay. Over here watching my good times. Good times. Ain't we lucky we got them. <laughs> Two mamas in a good mood this morning. Thank God for that. God is good. All the time. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Go to my friend's celebration this week. <sighs> this weekend. Mm. It's kind of hard when someone dies that you talk to all the time. And you can't talk to them no more. You can't call them. That's the hard part. Is calling them. Oh, God. I got a headache. I got a doctor to put me on um, Monday. I got a headache. I haven't had no medicine. Months. Your mama know her blood pressure up and everything, but your mama been staying on her um what is it? Something bad. <laughs> it's my thing that I don't eat before eleven and I don't eat after seven. Intimate fast. I've been staying on it so and I've been doing a little better this week because um I cut out um I had stopped eating sweets and I stopped back cutting down back on those sweets again. So trying to get down to my good weight. But if your mama's getting there, she's getting there, she's getting there, she's getting there, she's getting there. It took a while, but she's getting there. And so for T, congratulations, because you know what? You stick in there, you will get there. This is my, it's been a year. I've been doing intimate fasting since, um, for a year from October. This is 24, October 22. So October 23, made it one year. And then, because I had, um, like, I guess the bypass um, surgery um, in 2000. And at that time, I was weighing 330. And so I got down, no, I weighed more than 330. I probably weighed about 360. And so... I lost a hundred pounds, and so um, yeah, about three sixty. And um, I lost a hundred pounds, and for since two thousand to last year, well, the other about five, six years ago, I had lost forty pounds, but I lost it the wrong way. I lost it because I starved myself. I starved myself for months. And I walked every day. I walked from downtown Boston to Roxbury. Every day I walked, I walked, I walked, and I starved myself. And I took my own, I take medicine to go to the bathroom. And I took my medicine and stuff, and 
I had lost up 40 pounds. And those 40 pounds, they stayed off for a good long time. With the intermittent fasting, when I started that, <clears throat> it kicked off a balance. And I was like, if only I knew that long time ago. If I only I knew that long time ago, it's like, um, don't eat, I don't eat after, I don't eat before 11. So, and I don't eat after 7. If I don't eat nothing after 7, I won't be hungry before 11. I won't be hungry before 2 o'clock in the afternoon if I don't eat after. But if I eat anything after 7 o'clock, <clears throat> before morning time comes, I'll be hungry. And so, that's your body, you know, your body will be hungry. But if you don't eat nothing after 7 o'clock, your body won't be hungry. And... It just, that was amazing to me. It was like, oh my God, what? And then once I started that, it's like, it was like, okay. Then each day was better and better and better. And then when I had started it last year, I had stopped eating sweets. I had stopped eating cookies, chips, and I didn't drink soda and stuff that much. Only I started drinking water because I didn't drink water. And all I would have every day was a cup of coffee, which that's what I use, I do now. But I try to drink my water because, I don't know, it's just something with water that since I don't got grown, I just don't like water. And so, um, like the intimate fasting, it, it's just been amazing because I had dropped the pounds and I had steady kept dropping kept losing the pounds and it's looking good see mama's feeling good so that's the most that's the good point about it is that i'm feeling good and i'm looking good so oh, i like this kid i wish all of it could have been like that but i didn't um when I did my hair the last time, uh, a couple of years ago, I had just bleached the, you know, just a handful. So I just colored just that handful so I won't have to um go and bleach or nothing. I just did the part that I did. So I think it came out good, but you know, each day, the color gets better and better. <laughs> but I'm not gonna, um, get a retwist or nothing right now um because i'm not gonna get a retwist or nothing right now because today's thursday saturday i go to my friends who got to go to new york to my friend um celebration of life so and i ain't got nobody to retwist it anyway so <sighs> she probably just talking to her people i love y'all I miss y'all. I can't wait to um, y'all start writing me and everything so we can have some communication. Let me know when y'all want to do some live so we can talk. And I like when I be going on like Sofa T's live and Plus Size Shades live and Life with Anthony's live and stuff with different people live and you know, interact with people and talk to people and everything. It's just a good feeling just to go back and forth. And I can't wait till my channel get like that so I can talk to my people. Yes, and get a bond. Yep, because your mama likes to talk. <laughs> yes, she does. But your mama's not gonna stay, her, stay on her this long, that long, because your mama did um, do a video yesterday another video a timu video so i'm gonna upload this video and then i'm gonna upload my timu video so remember god loves you and so do g mama so do g mama so do g mama